Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for following along uh, through this whole journey as I've been transforming my van into a camper van. Um, and now it has morphed into a mobile art studio. And this was actually a kind of a surprise to me. I really didn't know uh, when I started building the van out, I, I, I didn't really know what it was all about. I felt really super compelled to do it. Uh, I have 21 grandchildren and I would love to visit them and so making a camper van seemed like a really cool idea. And that is a good part of the reason that I chose to take on this project. So I wanted to be comfortable if I was going to be traveling and not feel rushed and feel like I could just kind of bunny hop from one place to another and travel without a, the pressure of time. So that was the plan and it still is. But I knew that there was some other reason and I wasn't quite sure what it was. And then I started talking as I was doing the project about using that back platform, which is a bed area, as a place to do some artwork if I was at a lake or some place where I felt inspired. And then all of a sudden I woke up one morning and realized that I could go travel around Augusta uh, and the local areas around and sit outside and paint or sit in the van and paint and sell artwork right from the van and so this is what I guess I'm going to be doing <laughs> uh, that it has become the plan uh, kind of unbeknownst to me I, I, I really didn't know that this was the direction that I was being led in but it makes perfect sense to me there is a local uh, flea market nearby uh, called the barnyard I just found out it's only about a 13 minute drive from my house and uh, so I was thinking maybe I would check that out. I have friends in the neighborhood that are vendors there and I spoke with them uh, yesterday and they were telling me about different uh, way, you know, different people that were vendors there. So yeah, I mean, that's what the van is turned into. It's a mobile art studio. Uh, I have a lot of my art displayed at hashtag T Harper Art. T H A R P E R A R T. And you can see the artwork there. If you stick around to the end of the video, there's a montage, a collage of all kinds of art that I've done over the years. And uh, if you're interested in anything, go ahead and give me a a DM on Facebook and uh, we'll see what we can do. As you can see I have all my supplies uh, right here. I got my paints and got my uh, everything in little drawers and everything is secure. I can drive down the road and things don't move around so that's really cool. The things that are on the shelves uh, over to the right Swim onto the woods so they're not going anywhere. I'm having PB and J. I've been eating a lot of that lately, but I've also been getting on my treadmill and trying to work off the pounds. <laughs> and I do have my little snacks available in the van. I have uh, running water at the sink and uh, uh, have the drain and the uh, USB powered uh, faucet pump working. So it's, uh, it's coming together. It's kind of a really cool thing and Bubbles is hanging out in the van with me most days now. She enjoys it. These prints are available. I'm um, selling the 8x10s for $30 each. And um, you can check out the other artwork that will be flashing by. And if there's anything you're interested in, just let me know. All those containers are attached. 
and the easel of course can just be tucked away when I'm not using it and if I go someplace where I'll be overnight I do have that trifold mattress that will lay down on that uh, platform the wooden platform in the back there so that doubles as a bed here's some of my artwork I've been working on these uh, designs and watercolors uh, graphic uh, fancy little patterns kind of contemporary art mandala style and there is some Star Wars art <laughs> I just enjoy it it's fun it gives me uh, puts me in a little place of as, as we call flow you know where you just kind of feel like you're in tune with everything that's going on and it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pleasant feeling to sit and do art I, I really enjoy it very very calming and uh, this piece was a piece that was the first piece that I did uh, right after my husband passed away in 2019 it's the first piece I did after his death and it was called fractured and uh, it's kind of how I felt at that time I've gone through a lot of healing and like I have his love and power with me all the time and that keeps me going and there is the finished piece these are some of the pieces that I've done over the years and this was an art show that I was in in Winterville it was very fun to have art on the wall and at an art show that was quite an experience this piece is called Mechanism. So the rest are just some more pieces. I hope you'll enjoy them as they flash by. And um, thanks for being a friend and listening to the whole van journey. I do have more things I need to do with the van. Uh, I'm still looking for a rim. For my spare tire because uh, I don't want to go too far out of town without a spare of course and I need a mount for the back door uh, so that I can mount the tire out there and I also have a friend in the neighborhood that's helping me with curtains uh, and also a pillow for the front seat and I appreciate her her name is Donna and uh, she's, a, she's a real good friend. I appreciate her. So I hope that you will continue to watch the channel and see what happens and the little adventures that Bubbles and I go on and uh, how things go with the art. I'll probably post some videos of me actually creating art in the van up in the future. And uh, that might be kind of fun. I hope that you'll all be safe and happy and uh, remember that the most important thing in this life is to love each other. Um, we all have differences, but we all have things that are the same too. We can always find some common ground if we try just a little bit. So uh, I hope that uh, this will be something that will enrich your lives in the future. Not the artwork, the ability to love one another. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. It's really been fun doing this, going on this journey and, and uh, doing something that I really didn't think I could do. Uh, and I hope that maybe it'll be an inspiration to some people. try something that they've never done. I found during the journey that uh, there were moments when I just thought, man, that's it. I just can't do this. And uh, at those times in your life, you just need to step back and take a break and go for a walk, take your mind off of it for a while and then come back recharged and meet that challenge in the future. And uh, I hope that you guys will uh, 
all be safe and uh, take care of each other. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. It's been a pleasure. Love you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.